This is Claude Code. In most ways, it really does feel like a milestone, and not so much for LLMs or tools, but just development in general. It really did feel for a while that we would all move towards IDEs more and more, and Claude Code has disproven that by having more people work from the terminal again. Claude Code can make you a whole bunch more productive, but at the same time, part of the experience is frustrating. And I'm not talking about maybe we could have a better TUI, I think that's probably true too, but it's more related just on what Claude Code is able to do and how I'm able to control that. And just to name a few examples, Claude Code can open up any file and it can also try to make changes to any file. There might be some guardrails, but that's living life a little bit dangerously. There's also all sorts of commands that it can run. And sure, I can check each command before it runs, but something about that feels like you're giving up a lot of control. These are things that the LLM will do on my behalf, but also when I think about some things that I would like to do, then I also want to have a bit more freedom. I have a couple of prompts that I really love to use for debugging, and it would be nice if I weren't forced to copy and paste that in here, and if instead I could use a Python function that would bring up some sort of form that would generate the right command for me. Not to mention the fact that maybe I want to have this experience, but on a model that's local, and not something that lives in some server farm of some vendor. I want to have some control over that too. Now again, Claude code from the terminal, great tool. You can get really productive with it. But I wanted to just have something a bit more bespoke. And that led me to start a new project, and I would like to show the first version of you right now. It's definitely version zero, but it's the idea that matters here. So I'm just gonna give you a demo. I'm gonna run this Python file, and then you're gonna notice a slightly different agent environment starts up. You get a few cool things out of the box. There's tab completion for custom commands. And I can also refer to specific files if I want. But let's ask it a simple question. Uh, what file can you edit? Question mark. If you check the text, then you're able to confirm that there's actually a tool here that's being called by the LLM and that the tool only has access to this one file, edit.py. I could ask it to make a small change. I could ask it to maybe add more comments. As it's thinking, I can see that it now wants to use a different tool, one that's able to make replacements in the file. And I can also see a diff. And I can see that it wants to add a couple of changes here. This all looks fine, so I'm just gonna go and say yes. And then it's gonna apply these changes. So under the hood just now, the LLM was calling some tools that I configured up front. This agent can only touch one specific file that I configured. And one extra demo I wanna show you before I dive into the Python file that powers all of this, uh, let's call this custom command, this role command. Uh, auto completion, hit enter. In this case, a little bit of UI pops up and I'm able to do something like, well, uh, let's assign you the role of being a creative writer. And now you can read things like, my fingers are itching to dance across the keyboard. So definitely the tone has changed. But the main thing I wanted to show you is that the LLM can pick tools that I've specified up front but I can also fire off tools that I've also specified up front. And being able to customize both, to me, feels great. It feels like something I really want. So let's show the file that powers all this. I'm just gonna quit here, and let's call bat, and let's open up that app.py file. The library that I'm working on right now is called Bespoken, and the whole point of the library is that you just get this box of Legos that you can use to build agents. There's a submodule that contains tools, there's a submodule for prompts, and there's a submodule for user interface elements. And let's start at the top here. This is the set role function. There's a couple of roles that we also saw in the demo and the user is able to pick one of these. And how can we do that? Well, there is this ui.choice function that you can just call. This is going to take care of all the UI that you need. We return a role and that is something that we can use to make this prompt, which then gets sent to the LLM. This is a relatively simple example, but being able to just make these quick interfaces does add a lot to the developer experience if you ask me. And I also have a somewhat more realistic example uh, right over here. One of my favorite debugging techniques while using an LLM is to not tell it what's wrong, but to instead tell it that there is indeed a bug and that the LLM has to figure it out. You do have to steer the LLM in the right direction. And in particular, if you wanna do this, it does help if you can give it a entry point as well as a action that a user is trying to perform. For debugging, I have really found that this works wonders, but a static prompt won't do it. You are definitely required to add a little bit of this information in line. I've got user interface elements to make that easy, but again, this is a utility that's pretty simple to just go ahead and define and is then also a joy to use. Everything comes together at the bottom of the file over here. There is a chat function that receives a couple of inputs. You can choose whether or not to run it in debug mode in which you see more of the thinking around the tool calls. You can give it a system prompt. You can give it a model name. 
this model name has to correspond with a model name that the LLM library from Simon Willison uses. The LLM ecosystem here, by the way, is vast. People can make plugins, which means that most providers you can just assume are covered. You can also run local models with this, which is great. And there's plenty of models to pick from that can do these tool calls. And that is also the main thing I want to focus on now, which is the fact that just like you're able to add slash commands over here that are just Python functions, you can do the same thing with these tools. You can add Python functions or classes, be able to keep track of state as you see fit. But as long as you have a class method or a function with a proper name and a proper doc string, you are also able to give just enough context to the LLM to figure out when it needs to use it. So one thing you could do is you could add this to do tool. You might be able to keep a list of to do's in memory and that can help the LLM plan. But in this particular case, I'm also passing it the file tool. And one way of looking at this is that I'm configuring the LLM this way to make a change to a file and only allow its access to that one file. Other tools you might be able to add here are things like maybe you want to have a UV tool that is able to pip install via UV. Uh, you can do things with NPM as well. But the whole point is that by constraining the tools over here, you also get more control. And I think something about having more constraints, these won't be perfect guardrails, but they do give you a bit of a remedy. Being able to also pick your own model and being able to pick your own commands to help you as you're working. Hey, this is giving me a lot more freedom and I can really start thinking about making an agent that's just a little bit more bespoke. And that is also why this library is called Bespoken. If you're keen to learn more, there is a documentation page that's up right now that has a bunch more details. There's also a GitHub page so you can check out the source code. The thing I want to stress also is that this is very much version zero. There are a bunch of places where I could add more polish and there's also a bunch more features that I'm actively considering. But in order to know if I'm going in the right direction, I think I would also need some feedback at this point. It's, I'm the kind of person that really likes to work in public. So I like to show things early and also accept that there are some rough edges. But the main thing that I hope is that the idea of being able to define your agent, being able to pick your tools, add your commands, and to really make it your own, something about that just feels so darn appealing. So this is probably going to be my hobby project going forward for the year. And it's really not so much that I'm keen on playing more of LLMs, that's sort of fine. The thing that I'm really keen on exploring is just, can I build my own tools such that I become more productive myself? It is really about building something custom for me and I think the best way to go about that is not so much to worry about the final bot that I'll be building. Instead, what I need is a toolbox. And that's what I'm exploring here. If this sounds interesting, uh, find me on socials or on GitHub. But this is called Bespoken. And if you find this interesting, I hope you give it a spin and let me know what you think.